Hi, it's Chris from Implied Music. Thanks for joining us again. Today's uh, tutorial is about harmonizing melody with uh, parallel melodies, secondary lines which create um, uh, diatonic or chromatic harmonies. And those harmonies do a couple of different things. They, they fill out the, the sound of the arrangement, but they can also um, act as timbre. Harmony in parallel can actually act as a tone color, actually creating kind of new instruments, but we'll talk more about it in the video. So. How I wonder where you are. And of course, you're looking at right now uh, a, an organ, and this is an old fashioned instrument, and it produces a, a, a simple tone by using draw bars. This draw bar is what they call the eight foot draw bar, and it's a very, it's like a sine wave. Additional draw bars add different tones. The octave up, you hear it? As it's interesting because different lengths of pipes will give you different harmonics. For instance, if I add this draw bar, can you hear the fifth coming in? So that's actually a harmony. There are two notes there. So let's play the melody now with this lower octave and fifth. It's actually a, a, a remarkable sort of effect. The, the, the harmony stops being a harmony and becomes a tone, a timbre, like a, like a guitarist's tone as they add distortion. Simple melody. a simple parallel harmony. The harmony was a sixth below the melody. The rhythm was identical. Now, it's worth mentioning that that sixth, hopefully this will catch up with us here, um, that sixth it is um, what we call a diatonic sixth. That is to say, doesn't sound like the melody, does it? Because it's following the melody a sixth below it within the scale. Diatonic parallel harmonies generally sound pretty pleasing to our ears. Now, you don't have to have a diatonic parallel melody. A parallel melody can be what we call chromatic or exact. For instance, if I play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star starting on E, You can see there are a couple of black keys involved. There's the C sharp and the G sharp and the F sharp. Now together, we're gonna to get an interesting effect. Oh, it's kind of beautiful, but weird. Theorists sometimes will call this coupling, and you can do that to any extent at all. Um, I'm gonna play the melody up an octave so that uh, I, we can visualize this a little bit uh, better. So. Check this out. This is a, just a bunch of the same kind of thing. All right, so let's see if I can do this. Going on. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was interesting, and it sounds great, doesn't it? Well, that's um, chromatic coupling of that melody. Boy, it sounds gorgeous. It's the same melody in five different notes. It leaps up, 
I'm actually playing in five different key signatures at once. I'm not really thinking of it that way. I'm just keeping exact relationships between the notes. Well, it sounds pretty cool on piano, very jazzy. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, the, the use of parallel harmonies extends uh, to strings as well. I'm gonna switch out of uh, playing piano and we'll just listen to the same thing uh, in strings now. Um, and, and, and strings are just beautiful for this kind of thing. So here's our melody. Here it is in um, diatonic parallelism. And here it is in coupling. So I'm going to move this over so you can really watch it. It's going to be the, the same harmonies that we heard before, just a different world. So these are, so I would just describe them as sonorous or, or, or pleasant sounding uh, couplings, but of course couplings don't have to be that way. Parallel um, harmonies do two things. They create a sound field that is either um, within a key signature or outside of one. And uh, let's go stop this. And, and they, do, um, they do something kind of great for us, uh, which is, and this is the, really the point, they create a kind of a timbre. they create a new instrument for us that we can play. Now obviously you don't have to perform it, you can just go ahead and uh, uh, drag and drop, um, you know, notes as many times as you'd like. I mean, one option for us is to write a little melody, let's write a little melody here. Um, And uh, let's just uh, create an easy <laughs> um, coupling at a major second. What's that going to be like? It's going to be a strong. That's super. If I if I add something below that, oh, let's say let's say a fourth, yeah. We're gonna get a timbre. Now just between you and me, that sound would sound great on brass, wouldn't it? I mean, it almost sounds like a horn part. The reason it works is the harmonic series, and the, there's a, a second video about the harmonic series that's worth looking at. And every instrument sound contains in it, just like the organ, um, just dozens of tones, right? Sub, fifth, the octave. I do love playing the organ. All right, that's it. Parallel melodies, guys. They kill. Bye for now.